Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a 60 minute split class. So the first half of the class is going to be just a yoga flow kind of focus on balance and strength. And then the second half of the class is also going to be balance and strength, but we're going to incorporate the foam roller. So if you don't have a foam roller, you can totally do this without the foam roller. Whenever I'm saying stand on the roller, you can either just stand on the ground or you can have something else unstable like a folded up pillow or a piece of foam or something squishy that you have at home. And then anytime that we're using the roller to roll something, like to slide, you could also substitute that with sliders or paper plates or socks or something on the floor. So you don't specifically need a roller to do this. It's just gonna make the balance aspect of this harder. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend. And if you've got comments or feedback, let me know in the comments section below. We are gonna get started today in a tabletop position. tabletop position bring your hands underneath your shoulders your knees underneath your hips take a nice deep inhale reach the sternum forward cow belly breath and then as you exhale tuck and round inhale cow belly breath exhale into your cat one more here inhale exhale Come to a neutral spine, tuck under your toes, take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to bring your knees to hover in your bare pose. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, keep your knees an equal distance away from the floor. Take your right hand, tap your left knee, press down into your left foot, and then inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, press down into your right foot, bring your left hand to your right knee, draw your left hip down slightly. Inhale, take it back to center. Exhale, right hand, left knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, left hand, right knee. Inhale, center. So you can take a look back at your knees and try and keep them even distance from the floor. But once you've kind of got an idea of where your body's at in space, try and look straight down at your hands, not tucking your chin and not cranking your neck forward. We're going to do one more on each side. Come back into your bear pose. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to straighten your legs. You're going to come into a shortened downward dog. And then as you inhale, come back into your bear. As you exhale, press the floor away, hips up, downward dog. Inhale, come into your bear. We're going to do one more like this. Come back into your bear pose. You could stay with two legs. Otherwise, you're going to float your right leg. Keep your hips even here. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to come up into a three-legged dog. And then as you inhale, you're going to come back into that single leg bear. Exhale, press down evenly through the hand. Send the right leg up to the sky. And then inhale, bring it back to hover above the floor. We've got three more of these. Got one final push for this left leg. Come back into your single leg bear. Take an inhale. Keep your right knee bent as you exhale. Sole of the foot to the sky. Engage the glute. Inhale. Let it go. Exhale. Sole of the foot to the sky. Inhale. Let it go. Three more. Left quad on fire. Set the right foot down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lift the left foot off to hover. Inhale here. As you exhale, straighten the right leg. Send the left leg up. Single leg downward dog. And then as you inhale, come back into your single leg bear. You've got four more on this side. last one come back into your single leg bear take an inhale as you exhale donkey kick with the left inhale hovering bear exhale donkey kick inhale to neutral three more a 
set the left foot down, take an inhale. As you exhale, set the right foot back and then the left foot back. We're in our high plank pose. We're gonna hold here for a few breaths, sitting up our high plank. Turn your elbows towards the back of the room, draw your shoulder blades down your back. Engage through your thighs and lengthen through the back of your neck. Nice deep inhales and exhales. So you're obviously contracted through your belly but I don't want you to be gripping so hard that it doesn't allow you to breathe. I still want you to feel your rib cage and your belly expanding and then contracting as you exhale. Take three more breaths here. We're gonna to come to dolphin from here. So as you inhale, you'll send your hips up as if you're going to downward dog, but you'll drop your elbows to the floor. And then as you exhale, you'll lift your elbows, ripple back forward into your plank pose. You can do this from your knees. Inhale, come into your dolphin. Exhale, come into your downward dog. We're gonna do five more of these. No, we're gonna do six more of these. I like to make things even. One more, we'll end up in our plank pose. Now you're gonna shift forward, lower the knees if you need to, we're coming into chaturanga. Inhale back to plank, four more. Exhale chaturanga, inhale to plank. Last three. Last one, we'll hold it at the bottom and then lower all the way to the belly. Take the fingertips off to the side of the mat, elbows up towards the sky. Press your feet down as you inhale, peel the chest up into a wide arm cobra. And then as you exhale, drop the right shoulder, look over to the left. Inhale, peel up through center. Exhale, drop the left shoulder, look over to the right. Inhale, come up through center. Do one more time on each side. Inhale, peel up through center. Exhale, roll it all the way down. You're gonna bring your hands down by your sides. Your palms will face the floor. Take an inhale. For this first one, you're gonna keep your head down as you exhale, lift your palms up off the floor. Keep your palms facing down. Relax your lower back, relax your neck. Inhale, float it down. Exhale, you're gonna float your hands up, palms face down. Inhale, bring it down. So this is subtle, but this is working the back of your shoulder blades. We've got one more like this. You'll hold it at the top, take an inhale. As you exhale, now you're gonna press your pubic bone down, peel the chest off, so feel the difference. Now we're using our upper back muscles. Keep the chest up. As you inhale, tap the hands to the floor. As you exhale, palms face down, lift them up. Inhale, tap them down. Exhale, lift them up. So when you're doing this, notice if you're trying to bunch your shoulders up by your ears, think of drawing the bottom tip of your shoulder blade down towards the opposite back pocket. I'm gonna do four more here. You're gonna hold the arms and the chest up. Now we're gonna add the legs. As you exhale, feet stay parallel. You're gonna lift your legs up, try not to turn out, and then inhale, let them down. So you're gonna feel your lower back and your glutes start to work. Exhale, lift the legs up. Inhale, set them down. We're gonna do six more here. So try and make this lift come from your glutes. You are gonna work your lower back here, and that's okay, but I don't want you to just be like jamming your, your lower belly and your um, rib cage into the floor. I want you to think of lifting away from the floor and using your back body to help lift your legs off. We do two more here. And then let it go all the way down to the floor. Bring your right arm out to a cactus position, plant your left hand like a cobra. Press into your left hand as you look towards the left. You should feel a nice big stretch in through the front of your right shoulder. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, bring it back through center. You're going to switch it out. Left hand to a cactus, right hand plants. Press into the right hand, look towards the right. 
Take a nice deep inhale. Take a nice deep exhale. Come back through center, plant the hands underneath the shoulders, elbows to the back of the room. Knees can be down here if you need. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press up to your plank and then downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat. You'll take baby steps all the way up to the backs of your wrists. Inhale, come into a halfway lift and lengthen. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Generous bend in the knees. Roll yourself all the way up to standing. On your next inhale, sweep the arms all the way overhead. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step, walk or float, chaturanga. Pause at the bottom. Inhale, come back to your plank. Exhale, lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes. Inhale, peel up baby cobra. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, press up to your plank. Exhale, downward dog. Bend the knees, float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float, chaturanga, hold it. Inhale to plank. Exhale to the belly. Maybe the hands lift this time as you inhale, peel up, baby cobra, keep your feet down. Exhale, press the floor away, high plank. Inhale, downward dog. Look to the top as you exhale, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. We'll do two more rounds like this. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float. Chaturanga, pause. Inhale to plank. Exhale to the belly. Inhale, your baby cobra. Exhale, press the floor away, plank. Inhale, downward dog. Exhale, step, walk or foot to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Last round. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or foot. Chaturanga, pause. Inhale to plank. Exhale, all the way to the belly. There's an iguana in my yard that my dog is trying to catch. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, press the floor away, plank, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. As you exhale, keep your chair, sweep your arms back, bring your right knee in towards your chest, really engage your left glute, try not to let that left knee swing in. Inhale, come back into your chair. Exhale, swing your arms back. Engage the right leg, lift the left knee to the chest. Inhale, chair. Exhale, single leg chair, right knee to chest. Inhale, chair. Exhale, single leg chair, left knee to chest. Inhale to chair. We're gonna do three more on each side. Really engage your triceps as we extend your arms back behind you. So we're not using any weights or resistance, but you can use your own body, your own mind-body connection to really get a good contraction in through those muscles, even though you're not holding any weights. Inhale, come into your chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, step walk or float. Chaturanga, we're gonna pause. We're gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, one, press the floor away, high plank, lower all the way down to the belly. Inhale, peel up, baby cobra. As you exhale, press the floor away, high plank. Inhale, downward facing dog. Take an exhale. On your next inhale, sweep your right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, shift forward round, knee to nose. We're coming to a single leg plank. As you inhale, shoot that right leg back. Exhale, round, knee to nose. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, round, knee to nose. We'll do two more. You're going to neutralize through the spine, but keep that knee into the chest. As you inhale, you're going to tap the shin to the floor, and then exhale, pull the knee up in towards the chest without just rounding your spine. So press the floor away, use your hip flexor. Inhale, tap it to the floor. Exhale, pull it up. We've got three more. 
one more. And then you'll step your right foot all the way up in between your hands. Set yourself up for crescent lunge. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Take a nice deep exhale here. As you inhale, you're going to dip your back knee to the floor. And then exhale, straighten it. Inhale, the back knee bends. Exhale, it straightens. Three more here. Take an inhale at the top, and then as you exhale, plant the hands. We're going to step back to side plank, ground down through your left hand. Right foot can stack or stagger. Take a nice deep inhale, reach the right arm overhead. As you exhale, that right foot is going to float in front of you. So try and bring your toes up to your fingertips, and then inhale, bring it back. Exhale, it's like a straight leg raise in front of you. Inhale, bring it back. We're going to do six more of these. So try and bring your, your foot to your hand and not your hand to your foot. It's much harder. We've got one more. Inhale into your side plank. Option to keep that right leg floating as you exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale, come back to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left leg up towards the sky. As you exhale, shift forward around the spine, knee to nose. Single leg plank as you inhale, neutralize the spine, shoot the leg back. Exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, tuck and round. Three more. Hold it into your chest. Neutralize through your upper spine. As you inhale, drop the shin to tap to the floor. And then exhale, pull it back into your chest. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pull it back in. Three more. Step that left foot all the way up in between your hands. Set yourself up for crescent. And on your inhale, come all the way up. Take an exhale here. On your next inhale, you're just going to bend the back knee, tap it to the floor, and then exhale, straighten it up. Inhale, tap. Exhale, straighten. We've got three more. Take an inhale, reach up. As you exhale, hands find the floor. We're coming to side plank as you inhale. As you exhale, left toes come up towards the left fingertips. And then inhale, reach it long. Exhale, bring that foot up. Inhale, reach it long. We've got six more. Last one. Inhale into your side plank. Option to keep that left leg floating as you come through your chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Look towards the top of your mat. Step, walk, or float. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, right knee to chest. Inhale to chair. Exhale, left knee to chest. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step up or float. Chaturanga, pause. Inhale to plank. Exhale to the belly. Inhale, your baby cobra. Exhale, plank pose. Downward facing dog. Step the right leg forward. Inhale, come all the way up into your crescent lunge. This time as you exhale, power lunge. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge, but dip the back knee. And then as you exhale, we're going to come all the way to stand, left knee to chest. Inhale, come back into your crescent lunge. Exhale, hands plant. Side plank as you inhale. One time, exhale, right toes come up to the hand. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, your chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Step the left leg forward. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, power lunge. Inhale, come back up, dip the back knee. 
And then as you exhale, come all the way to stand, right knee to chest. Inhale into your crescent lunge. Exhale, hands come to the floor. Side plank as you inhale, right hand down, left arm up. Exhale, left toes come up to the left hand. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, your chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Look to the top of your mat, step walk or float. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, sweep the arms back, right knee to chest. Inhale, chair. Exhale, sweep the arms back, left knee to chest. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step walk or float, chaturanga, pause. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale to the belly. Inhale, your baby cobra. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, downward dog. On your exhale, step the right leg forward. Inhale, come all the way up, crescent lunge. Exhale, power lunge. Dip the back knee as you inhale, crescent variation. Exhale, come all the way to standing, left knee to chest. Inhale into your crescent lunge. Exhale, hands find the floor. Side plank as you inhale. Right foot comes up as you exhale. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, your chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, down dog. Left leg steps forward as you inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, power lunge. Drop the back knee, arms up, inhale. Exhale, come to stand on the left leg, right knee to chest. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands find the floor. Side plank as you inhale. Tap the toes as you exhale. Side plank, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. We'll go through one more time. Look to the top, step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, single leg chair. Sweep the arms back, right knee to chest. Inhale to chair. Exhale, left knee to chest. Inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga, pause. Inhale, come back up to plank. Exhale to the belly. Baby cobra as you inhale. High plank as you exhale. Downward facing dog. Step the right leg forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, power lunge. Dip the back knee. Inhale, bring the torso up. Exhale, press into the right foot. Come all the way to stand. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands find the floor. Side plank. Inhale. Tap the toes. Exhale. Side plank, inhale, vinyasa, exhale. Left foot steps up, inhale, crescent, exhale, power lunge. Drop the back knee, arms up, inhale, stand on the left leg, exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale, hands find the floor, exhale. Side plank, inhale, tap the left toes, exhale. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look to the top, step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, right knee to chest. You're going to grab a hold of the right knee. Keep sitting nice and low into the left leg. You could stay here. Maybe you can bend forward a little bit more. See if you can grab the bottom of your foot with your hands and start to extend that leg out in front of you. So as you extend that leg out in front of you, it should help you to open up your chest and send your hips back a little bit more. We're here for two more breaths. Keep a hold of that foot if you can. You're going to come all the way to standing. You might need to bend the knee. You can take your peace fingers and hook them around the big toe to give yourself a bit more room. Draw that right hip down in line with the left and draw your right shoulder back, even if that means bending into that right knee. We'll take one more breath here. 
slowly with control, you're going to release that right leg. It's going to come behind you. We're going to hinge forward into a warrior three. Take your arms out to the side like a capital T. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to give yourself a big hug as you come into a Shiva squat. So arms cross over the body, right knee tucks behind the left. Inhale, come back into your warrior three. Arms come wide. Cross the arms in the opposite direction. So opposite arm on top as you come down into your little Shiva squat. And then exhale, come up into your warrior three. Inhale, down into your Shiva squat. Give yourself a hug. Exhale, up into your warrior three. We're going to do three more. Come up into your warrior three. Take an inhale. As you exhale, step the right foot back. Inhale, come up into your crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, you're going to sweep the arms back. You're going to tap the right toes next to the left foot. So it's almost like a single leg chair. Inhale, come back into your lunge. As you exhale, like you're coming into a power lunge, but you drive that right knee up in towards the chest. Inhale, step it back. We do four more of these. You're going to step back into your crescent lunge. Take an inhale. As you exhale, hands find the floor. You're going to step into a side plank. My dog is just like staring at me from across the yard. Reach the left arm up and overhead. You're going to stagger your right foot in front of your left. Your bottom toes are going to come to meet your top arm. So just like we did before, but now it's the bottom leg. As you exhale, right toes, left fingertips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale to tap. In how to lengthen. We've got six more. You're going to plant that right foot, swing yourself around into plank, chaturanga, all the way back up to plank, chaturanga all the way down to the floor. Bring your hands behind your head like you're under arrest. Take your arms really wide so your elbows are not on the floor. Your elbows are pulling away from the floor. Take an inhale. As you exhale, first press the back of your head into your hands, lengthen the back of your neck, and then start to lift your chest up. So you're probably not going to get as high here, and that's okay. Keep drawing your elbows up towards the ceiling. Keep pressing your feet and your pubic bone down. Lengthen your lower spine and see if you can draw your sternum towards the front of the room. Take one more inhale, take one more exhale. As you inhale, you're going to tap your forehead, keep those elbows wide, and then as you exhale, you're going to lift up, press your, the back of your head into your hands, and then inhale, tap down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, take it down. We do five more of these. Bring it all the way down to the floor, hands underneath the shoulders, take an inhale. As you exhale, press up high plank, downward facing dog. Look to the top of your mat, step walk or float. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Last standing sequence until we're halfway through. Inhale, come into your chair pose. As you exhale, draw the left knee in towards the chest. Take the hands, wrap them around the left shin. Reach the sternum forward, sink the hips back, ground down into your right foot. You could stay here, otherwise if it's available for you, you're going to reach down, see if you can grab the sole of the left foot, start to extend that leg out in front of you, and see if that allows you to get a little bit more leverage to get your hips back. We've got one more breath. Keep a hold of your foot, come all the way up to standing. If you can, you can keep both hands around the foot, otherwise left peace fingers come to the left big toe. Wherever you are, you draw that left hip back and down in space, draw the left shoulder back into the shoulder socket. 
and try and see if you can square yourself off to the front of the mat as much as you can. You don't have to be dead even, but we're aiming for somewhere in that general direction. Take one more breath here. Slowly with control, you're gonna release that left foot. We're coming through into our warrior three. Bring your arms out into a capital T. As you inhale, you're gonna collapse down into that Shiva squat. Give yourself a hug, tuck that left knee behind the right. And then as you exhale, drive through the right foot, take the arms wide. Inhale, come down into your Shiva squat. Exhale, come up into your warrior three. We've got four more. And inhale in your warrior three as you exhale step the left toes back inhale come up into your crescent lunge as you exhale bring the torso forward sweep the arms back like you're coming into power lunge tap the left toes next to the right or float them and then inhale come into your crescent exhale arms back tap the left toes up inhale come back into your crescent we're going to do four more of these I don't remember how many we did on the first side. Maybe we did eight. We're going to do two more just to be safe. We're going to come back into your crescent lunge. Take an inhale. As you exhale, hands find the floor. Step into your side plank. Your right foot will stagger behind your left. Take a nice deep inhale. Reach the left arm overhead. As you exhale, left toes come up to tap the right fingertips inhale reach it long exhale bring it up inhale take it long we've got six more coming to your side plank take an inhale and then as you exhale chaturanga Inhale back to plank, exhale, downward facing dog. If you're leaving us halfway, this is your 30 minute mark. You'll take a stretch and finish up. I'll see you next time. If you're continuing on, we're going to grab our foam roller and take it to the top of the mat. You step, walk, or float to behind your roller. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. You're going to come to stand, slide onto the roller. Can you take your left foot onto the roller so it's parallel with the roller on the long end of the roller? Stop talking, Taz. You're going to step yourself as wide as you like for a squat. Option to come up onto the right tippy toes or keep the right foot down. We're coming into an uneven squat, so you're mostly loading the right foot or the right leg, sorry. As you inhale, you're going to sink those hips back, come into your squat. Exhale, press through the right foot to stand. Inhale, come down into your squat. Exhale, press to stand. So if your foot is flat, your hips will go back more and you'll feel this more in your glutes. If you're up on your toes, your knee's gonna come forward a little bit more and you'll probably feel it more in your quads. There's not much weight in that left foot. It's just there to add a balance challenge at the moment. We do four more of these. Okay, on this next one, your two options. If you were flat foot, when you come up, you're just going to raise onto your heels, onto your toes, sorry. If you were already on your toes, you're going to come into a squat. As you exhale, you're going to press into your left foot. See if you can come to stand on the roller on your left foot. Maybe you can draw your knee into your chest. The first one's always a bit scary. And then you'll inhale, come back down into your squat. Exhale, you're going to press, shift your weight into that left foot. Maybe the right foot lifts, maybe it doesn't. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, squat and stand. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, press to stand. Inhale, bring it down. We're going to do five more of these.
we're going to hold it at the top. So you might be playing with just lifting your right toes off the mat and getting yourself your balance here. Otherwise, as you exhale, you're going to stand nice and tall, draw the right knee in towards the chest, and then inhale, see if you can float it above the floor. Exhale, right knee into the chest. Inhale, float it to the floor. Fix your gaze on something that's not moving, so don't look at me. We've got seven more of these. And then you're slowly going to bring it down. And we're going to take it straight to the other side. So find a non-lumpy bit of floor. You'll take your right foot to the roller. Same thing. You could be up on your left toes or you could be flat. But most of your weight is into your left leg. As you inhale, you'll come down into your squat. Exhale, press through that left leg to stand. Try and relax your right leg. Inhale, come down. Exhale, press up. So this is like a single leg squat. We've got seven more. One more. Same options as before. You can just play around with shifting onto the toes. Otherwise, we're going to come into our squat as we inhale. As we exhale, so it's going to be harder. See if you can come to stand on the roller. And then inhale, bring it down. Exhale, press to stand or something like it. Inhale, bring it down. We'll do eight more. Last one. We'll stay with our weight in the right leg. You could be playing with just floating your toes off the floor. Otherwise, as you exhale, you'll draw that left knee in towards the chest. And then inhale, float it down. Exhale, bring it up. Inhale, bring it down. We've got eight more. One more. And then set it down. You're going to bring that roller to the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and overhead. And then as you exhale, forward fold. Fingertips to the roller as you inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Hands come to the roller. Exhale. You'll step back into your high plank pose. So find a position that feels good with the wrist. If this really doesn't feel good with the wrist, you just come back into a normal plank. Ground down evenly through the feet. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to tap right hand, left shoulder. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, left hand, right shoulder. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, right hand. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, left hand. Inhale, bring it down. Keep going. Try and draw the same hip down that the hand is lifting. So when you lift your right hand, draw your right hip down slightly to try and stabilize through your pelvis. And don't let your face just drop towards the floor. Don't look back towards your feet. There's nothing interesting happening back there. Your gaze is just beyond your fingertips.
We do three more on each side. You're gonna shift forward, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, come back up. We do four more of these. Chaturanga, bring it all the way back up. Three more. And then you're gonna set the knees down. We're gonna bring our forearms to the roller. So you'll start with the forearms Kind of like towards your elbows a little bit the roller is going to move you could certainly do this from your knees otherwise you're going to step back into your full plank take an inhale here as you exhale you're going to draw the roller towards you am i covered in ants i totally am and then you're inhaling you're going to press those fingers towards the top of the mat as you exhale draw the roller towards you inhale press it away you keep going i need to get these ants off me these like little flash mobs of ants that just appear out of nowhere. It's like one of those movies where all of a sudden there's like a hundred people just dancing. I have that but with like ants. Not much fun. I'm gonna do four more. One more. And then you'll set the knees down. You're going to roll yourself all the way down onto your belly. Make sure you've got enough room in front of you. You're going to face your palms towards each other. The roller is going to be underneath your wrist creases or just a little bit, um, a little bit closer to you than that. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, press down into your pubic bone, press down into your arms, draw your shoulders away from your ears as you start to peel yourself up, roll that roller towards you. Only come up as far as you're comfortable. And then you'll inhale just as slowly roll it down. So imagine you're peeling yourself down segment by segment by segment. As you exhale, press into the roller. First, draw your shoulder blades down your back body. Then start to peel yourself up off the mat. And then inhale, slowly roll it back down. We're going to do six more of these. our last one and you roll it all the way back down you're going to bring your i'm just rolling it forward so it's a better position on my mat you're going to bring your palms down on the roller your head is going to stay down for this you're going to take an inhale as you exhale without bunching your shoulder up to your ear you're going to see if you can lift your right palm off and then inhale, tap it down. This is active shoulder mobility. It's harder than it looks. Exhale, left arm will lift off. Try not to just draw your shoulder up to your ear so you're not reaching forward, you're lifting up. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, right arm lifts. Relax your neck. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left arm lifts. Inhale, set it down. We're going to do four more on each side. One more each side. And then you'll take your hands away from the roller, leave it where it is, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, take an inhale. As you exhale, press the floor away, high plank pose, and then send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of your mat, step, walk, or float. 
Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. We're coming back to standing on the roller. This time, both of our feet are going to be on the roller. So you're going to stand on the roller so that the arches of your feet are over the bar of the roller. This is too much. You just stay on the floor. Now having a flash mob of buzzards. Fun times. We're going to come into those little chair pose marches. So you're going to inhale, come into your chair pose or come into your squat. As you exhale, we're going to press to stand. So we're going to start here, and then we'll add the single leg. Inhale, come into your squat. Exhale, press to stand. We're going to do six more just like this. This is our last one. So you could stay just like this. Otherwise, you're going to inhale, come down into your squat. As you exhale, you're going to press to stand, press into the left foot as you draw the right knee into the chest. And then inhale, come all the way back down into your squat. Exhale, press to stand, draw the left knee into the chest. Try not to just hike through one side of your waist. Inhale, come back into your squat. Exhale, right knee comes to chest. Inhale, come into your squat. Exhale, left knee comes to chest. Inhale, come into your squat. You do four more on each side. One more each side. We're going to come down into that squat and we're going to hold it. So once again, you could stay here. Your next option would be to just tap the toes of one foot alternating like a little mini march. Your third option would be to come into that chair march that we do on the floor. You could also just do this on the floor. So as you exhale, keep your chair, draw your right knee up in towards your chest. Inhale, chair. Exhale, single leg chair, draw your left knee up in towards your chest. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, right knee. Inhale, down. Exhale, left knee. Inhale, down. We do five more on each side. One more each side. You're going to press all the way to standing. So from here, we're going to step back into a lunge. If that feels a little bit scary for you, you'll just step back down onto the floor and then place your left foot on the roller and go from there. Otherwise, from here, you're going to draw your right knee in towards your chest. We're going to take a big step back with that right leg coming all the way into a crescent lunge. So if you started with just your left foot on the roller, your first option would be to stay here. As you inhale, you'll dip the back knee. As you exhale, you'll straighten both of your legs. Inhale, dip the back knee, both knees bend. Exhale, both knees straighten. You could stay right here. Otherwise, you're gonna inhale, come into your lunge. This time, as you exhale all the way from the ground, you're gonna press into your left foot, see if you can stand, draw the right knee into the chest. Inhale, 
you dip both knees, see if you can tap the back knee to the ground. And then as you exhale, drive through the back of the leg, press to stand. We go eight more, wherever you are. We've got one more. And you'll change it out. So either from the ground, you'll step your right foot forward and your left foot back. Otherwise, standing on the roller, woo, you'll lose your balance. You'll draw your left knee in towards your chest. Take a nice deep inhale. And then as you exhale, you'll step that left leg back. Inhale, everybody bends both knees. See if you can tap the left knee to the ground. And then as you exhale, press through the right leg. Come to stand or just straighten both knees. Inhale, tap. Exhale, press to stand. We do eight more here. We've got one more. If you're standing on the roller, you'll step off the roller. Inhale, sweep those arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, forward fold. The roller is going to come behind you and you're going to plant your hands to the floor. Your shins are going to come to the roller. So you'll start with the roller kind of towards the middle of your shins. You're going to take an inhale here. You're in a plank pose. As you exhale, without rounding your spine, you're just going to tuck your knees into the chest and then inhale them back. Exhale, tuck in, inhale it back. So my upper body isn't moving. I'm not rounding. I'm drawing in and out through my hip flexors, my glutes, and my lower abs. We will round, but just not yet. So you're only pressing back so far that you don't feel yourself just kind of collapse into your hips. I'm going to do four more like this. And now we're going to add that round. So readjust the roller if you need to. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you'll round as if you're trying to bring your nose and your knees towards each other. And then inhale, take it out long. Exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, bring it out long. We do eight more of these. last one and then roll it out you're going to set your knees down bring that roller back out in front of you we're coming back down onto our bellies but first we're going to do some push-ups you can do this from your knees or your toes you're going to take your hands wide i like to angle my hands in a little bit you find the best position for you knees or toes you're going to set yourself back on an angle like a plank take an inhale see if you can tap your chest to the roller Exhale, press it away. Inhale to tap. Exhale, press it away. We're going for eight more. You do as many as you can. So if you get to five, if you get to four, that's fine. Take a break. See if you can do some more.
One more. <sighs> Set the knees down. Roll that roller out in front of you. We're coming all the way back down onto the belly. So this time, the palms are going to face down on the roller. And again, they're going to start, the roller is going to start just behind your wrist creases because you're going to roll it up to your fingertips. Your forehead will start down on the mat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, first draw those shoulder blades down the back body. Start to roll that roller towards you and then peel your spine all the way up. At the top, you're going to pause. Your hands are on the roller. Take an inhale. You're going to sweep the right arm back. See if you can touch the back of your right thigh. And then exhale, bring it back forward. Inhale, you'll sweep the left arm to the side. See if you can touch the left thigh. Exhale, bring it back forward. Inhale, roll yourself long. As you exhale, you're going to peel yourself all the way up. Inhale, sweep the right arm. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, sweep the left arm. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, roll yourself long. We do four more of these. Exhale, peel it up. Inhale, sweep right. Exhale to center. Inhale, sweep left. Exhale to center. Inhale it long. Three more on your own. Last one. And then roll it all the way down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press the floor away. High plank. Downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat. Step, walk, float. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. We're going to come back to standing on the roller. This is our last little thing. You can do this from the floor as well. You're going to ground down through your left foot. So your option here, if you want to be on the roller but you can't quite do this single leg, you're going to come up onto your right tippy toes and you'll hinge forward. So it's like you're coming into a single leg deadlift or a stagger deadlift and then you'll bring yourself back up. So that could be your modification. You could also have a chair here in front of you to help with your balance. Otherwise, for those who are going to conquer with me, you're going to float that right leg behind you. You're going to bring yourself forward into a warrior three. I don't mind what you do with your arms here. It's whatever helps you feel the most balanced. And then as you exhale, you'll drive through the back of that left leg to bring you all the way to standing. Inhale, you'll hinge forward into your warrior three. And then as you exhale, you'll come all the way up into standing. We do six more of these. One more. And then you'll bring it back to center and we'll switch it out to the other side. So once again, you could just tap your left toes to the mat, hinge back evenly through both of your hips, and then draw through your right hamstring glute to bring yourself back up. Really good option. Otherwise, we're gonna come into that warrior three. You'll send the left leg back, Hinge from the hips, a little bend in that right knee. And then as you exhale, the right hamstring and glute will pull you up. So that is so much harder. You're going to inhale, bring it forward. And then exhale, bring it all the way up. We've got six more on this side. Last little standing, I don't even know if you would call this a sequence, standing move.
last one. Come all the way to standing step off that roller. Take a nice deep inhale, sweep the arms all the way up. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, one more time, that roller is going to come behind you. We're going to come into pikes. It's our last little ab move. So bring that roller onto your shins. Make sure it's got enough room to roll down to your feet. So start it up by your knees. Take an inhale. You could modify with the tucks that we did before. Otherwise, as you exhale, keep your legs straight. Draw your hips up towards the sky. Roll that roller in towards you. It's like you're going to come up into a handstand. Press the floor away. And then inhale, roll it out. So another option here, exhale, you'll pike your hips up. If you had a straddle press handstand, you could press yourself up to handstand and then float yourself back down onto the roller. I cannot do that. But if you can, kudos to you and go forth and conquer. We can do seven more. One more. And then you roll it down. You're going to roll yourself onto your back. So our last little move before we stretch, we're going to do a bridge. So you're going to have the roller parallel with the short edge of your mat. You're going to bring your feet onto the roller and then you're going to lie yourself down. So set yourself up for a bridge pose. You can float your hands here if you want to. As you inhale, you're going to roll that roller away from you. You can bring your legs as straight as you feel like you can control it. So it might roll over to the back of your um, heels. And then as you exhale, you're going to draw that roller back in towards you. It's like a hamstring curl. Inhale, roll yourself out. Not so far that you're just resting. And then exhale, you draw it back in. You do 10. Sorry, we're going to do eight more of these. Last one. You're going to hold it up in that bridge. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to draw your right knee in towards your chest. Take your thumbs to your ribs, index fingers to your hips. Make sure you're not shortening through one side of the waist or dropping the hip. And then inhale, set it down. Exhale, ground down through the right leg. Float that left leg up. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, the right. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, the left. And how set it down. We'll do three more on each side. Get off me. I'm sure it's in my shirt. I have an ant in my shirt. <laughs> You're going to hold it at the top, take a nice deep inhale, and then exhale, slowly roll yourself all the way down. Roll your legs out nice and straight. You're going to bring that roller. You're going to bring it behind your back. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can feel free to just come onto your back. Otherwise, that roller is going to go parallel to the short edge of the mat, kind of just underneath your shoulder blades. You'll bring your hands nice and wide behind your head. Use them as a cradle for your head and then just let yourself extend over that roller. I like to keep my knees bent here, but if you prefer to straighten your legs out, then you can certainly do that. And you can certainly lift your hips off and turn this into a little bit of a roll up and down the spine if that feels good for you.
and then you're going to bring yourself down bring yourself all the way to seated you're going to flip yourself over onto your hands and your knees the roller is going to be off to the right side of the mat you're going to have your right hand down so this is like a thread the needle you don't need the roller to do this your left palm is going to face up you're going to roll that roller away from you over towards the right side of the mat like you're threading the needle and then exhale press come back to center as you inhale you'll roll the roller away from you so the roller is just adding a little bit extra and then exhale you'll bring it up we do three more here and then you'll just take it over to the other side of the mat. So back of the right hand will come to the roller if you're using it, left hand comes down just in front of the shoulder. As you inhale, you'll thread the needle, press the right hand away from you. And then as you exhale, press the floor away, bring it back to center. We just take four more. The last one. You're going to come to sit on top of the roller. Again, you could do this without the roller if you wanted to. Face that on. We're going to come into a figure four. So hands will come behind you, cross the right ankle over the left knee. You could just walk yourself forward and this might be enough of a stretch. Otherwise, you're going to shift yourself over so that your right glute comes to the roller and then we're just going to roll back and forward a little bit. And you'll come through center you'll switch it out so you take your left ankle over your right knee you can stay in the stretch otherwise shift over towards the left a little bit just a gentle little roll back and forward You're going to come back through center with or without sitting on the roller. You're going to extend those legs out in front of you. Take a nice deep inhale, stretch the arms up. And then as you exhale, fold forward, coming into a hamstring stretch. You'll walk your hands back up your legs. You're going to come into a cross-legged position, either sitting on the roller or sitting on the floor. Let the palms turn up towards the sky. Close down through the eyes. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And a deep breath out through the mouth. If you would prefer to come into a more traditional Shadavasana here, I encourage you to do so. Otherwise, staying here, taking a few nice deep breaths, letting the nervous system relax. As always, thank you so much for practicing with me. Until next time, namaste.